All right, you guys are a match. Congratulations. You two are scientifically proven to be made for one another. And you have solidified one correct answer from now on. So now we just have seven more couples to figure out. However, because you guys are a perfect match, you don't need to be in the villa anymore. So you're actually going to pack your bags, say your goodbyes to your rest of, uh, rest of the house guest, and you're going to head on over all the way across the island to your own villa to hang out one-on-one -on -one with each other and get to know each other a little bit more away from everyone else. Alright, hello all my beanie weenies and welcome back to my channel. I am of course Hot Dogs and we are here for another installment of The Sims 4 Are You The One? Brought to you by me of course. And we're back for another episode. I just said that, but honestly it's been a bit of a long weekend for me. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, but when I last left you guys off, we saw that we sent Ariel and Jay Young to the Truth Booth where they found out that they were a perfect match and were sent off to their own honeymoon suite. However, we still have 14 Sims here uh, left in the house that have to find their perfect match. And of course, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the button, all that YouTube jargon. And let's get into it. All right, what a view to see starting off. First thing in the morning in the Are You The One house, we have a nice little trio in the sauna of Bruno, Latoya, and Alice. They're all, ooh, ooh, didn't mean to shake you. Um, we're all in the sauna, just kind of hanging out, relaxing in the steam. Uh, meanwhile, almost everyone else is in the living room. Uh, in the living room, we see that Rosalie and Jake are playing a nice little game of ping pong back in the corner by the fish tank. Meanwhile, Kayla, Felicity, Jonas, and Sunny all sit and watch a movie together. They're just kind of hanging out. Everyone is in a very much relaxed state of mind. It looks as though, however, that we're starting a little mini dance party in the corner with Liana and Benson. The two of them are kind of dancing side by side to some music. And me personally, I think it almost looks as though Sonny is a little jealous as he sit, sits and watches on the couch. But he doesn't really need to worry for too long as one by one this dance party gets a little bit bigger. Shelba. So, as you can see, we have Alice and LaToya joining them and dancing along, and ultimately, we see Benson and Liana leave the dance group and kind of start heading into the bathroom together. Almost looks as though they're trying to have a little private one-on-one -on -one time, but I'm not exactly too sure, because by the time they get there, they realize that the bathroom's kind of occupied, there's people in the sauna still, uh, there's people in the bathroom, and the two of them kind of separate, and my game actually starts acting really weird. We see Benson ends up walking through walls and over water and all around the house. I don't really know exactly what he's up to. Um, my game is a bit buggy with all of these house guests here on this lot. <laughs> It seems as though the ping pong match between Rosalie and Jake has officially come to a close in the living room, and it seems as though Jake has won, but they don't seem too satisfied. Rosalie demands a second match, and this time they change up the game a little and do a bit of beer pong. Meanwhile, the boys watch a movie right beside them, peeking at their game, maybe during commercial breaks or something. And Benson, outside, is fixing up that neon sign that we, that's been broken. I mean, with a neon sign being outside with the rain it's gonna break a lot and I think Benson is gonna be our number one guy while he's in the house that fixes it time and time again Outside in the ocean, we have Robbie and Kayla just floating around, getting some sun and, re and relaxing. Me, personally, if I was in the house, I think I would spend most of the time in the ocean. Like, if you're on the beach, why not be in the water? 
I don't know, that kind of makes sense the most to me. However, most of the house guests are, of course, inside the living room, and there seems to be a bit of, like, sexual chemistry in the air, like, I don't know lovey-dovey energy going on there seems to be some flirting uh if you see on the couch we actually have felicity and vince doing some flirting and i kind of like them two together i don't know i they haven't really been flirting that much so far this is kind of the first what do you guys think of the two of them meanwhile they're not the only ones flirting we see that there's a little bit of flirting going on between jake and rosalie surprisingly And not only that, but when Kayla actually comes back into the house from a break of being in the ocean, she instantly starts flirting with Jonas. So, I don't know, Felicity and Jonas have kind of been a bit of an item so far in the house, and now both of them have decided to start flirting with other people right in front of each other. And it gets a little bit spicy when we actually see a first kiss being shared between Jonas and Kayla. And while that's going on, we see that one of our house guests is not too happy about it. That being Kayla's former sort of love interest, Jake. Uh, the game between him and Rosalie has ended. They were even flirting a little bit, but he was not kissing anyone else. And seeing Kayla kiss another guy in front of him sets him off, and he instantly starts arguing with her, and then even eventually hitting her. We need to call the police. So far, this is the second time this series that a guy has hit a girl over jealousy. And my sim ladies need to watch out because it seems as though there's a really bad jealousy and domestic violence problem going on in the sims world. Um, it's a frequent occurrence so far. And Jonas is not too happy about it. He instantly steps in. He kind of tries to pull Jake aside and away from Kayla. And is kind of arguing with him and totally winning the fight. I mean, I don't really think Jake has a leg to stand on. He doesn't really have any reason to be, like, acting this way. Everyone is in the same situation or handling it fairly fine, apart from Devante. Uh, and now Jake. And just like Devante, we do not have a violence... Uh, exception in this house and once it happens you're out of here so that's our second guy being eliminated out of the game out he goes he even tries to start another little fight with jonas before he leaves and fails that as well like he is just like not not slaying unfortunately <laughs> You can get the f out. Yeah. That's it. Bitch. So, unfortunately, we are now down to 13 house guests. However, we will see Jake's replacement later on in the episode, so stay tuned for that. Um, however, it looks as though Jonas is deciding to comfort Kayla a little bit outside on the porch, away from everyone. They end up kissing, and... You know, she is kind of feeling herself. She's like, this man defended me. The guy I was talking to freaking hit me. Like, you know, this guy is here for me. Why don't I just bear all? And bear all she does, okay? Because the two of them end up walking over into basically the front yard on the beach. Get on one of the sun loungers and just woohoo openly in front of not only the whole house, but at the same time, ironically, we have all of our neighbors wanting to come and visit. So, and like, funnily enough, the neighbors are some of our house guests. We have Jay Young and Ariel over in the honeymoon suite. They decide to come over with one of the other neighbors and try to come into the house. No one really lets them in. And instead, they get a full on woohoo show right in the front yard. I couldn't. I honestly, I feel like this whole thing has been, like, AI-generated. Well, I guess it technically has, since it's a video game, but I just couldn't make this stuff up. Hi. 
Even after all of the fighting, the flirting sexual atmosphere is still in the air, which I feel like when that is in the air, testosterone is often going to build up naturally, and sometimes that turns into rage. So, I mean, I feel like when everyone's being real hot and sexual, they're like all on the verge of fighting. So, I am just excited to, for us to see some more juicy drama, and that's definitely coming because we see that there's a bunch of different couples kind of forming, not only in the house, but in this very living room, and they're all flirting with one another. So, we see that Benson and Robbie are mainly kind of flirting. I mean, he was flirting a little bit with Kayla or Liana or whoever earlier, um, but now he's flirting with, with Robbie, who he's been flirting with a lot. He's been flirting with Robbie and Bruno. He's been kind of having to decide which of the the two of them could be his perfect match. I mean, he was dabbling in the females today, but um, I think he knows deep down that he's probably going to end up with a guy. At least that's what it seems. Um, and he's not the only one flirting. We see uh, Latoya and Rosalie are playing a bit of ping pong, and uh, they seem to be getting along. And right after Rosalie finished with the ping pong matches with Jake, she kind of got a little bit flirty with him. I think she likes a bit of the competition. I think competition turns her on a little bit, so maybe that'll happen between her and Latoya. Meanwhile, Yolanda and Sunny are on the couch with one another, and they're flirting a little bit. And um, now Sunny, since he's entered the house, has been in a bit of a love triangle between Latoya and Yolanda. Um, he hasn't been able to decide which of the hot black women he wants, uh, but I feel like we all know he's going to end up getting with one of them, and right now he seems to be favoring Yolanda, um, which I kind of support as well. I think the two of them make a really hot couple. However, we see that Robbie and Benson have kind of hit that tipping point of horniness and they are now exchanging their first kiss and everyone in the room is actually watching and cheering them on. Surprisingly, even Bruno is there who has hooked up with Jake, or not Jake, but uh, Benson a few times now. Uh, and he's like not angry. He's not starting a fight. He is instead cheering him on. And Benson and Robbie actually end up heading upstairs, getting into bed together, and woohooing. And they're not dirty, wicked whims woohooing like the couple outside is. Instead, they're getting underneath the sheets, getting a little bit of privacy, and making sweet, sweet love. Oh, yeah. Now, I told you guys it was going to get real crazy. You're going to have some crazy, crazy drama. And... If you thought not having one couple in the front yard was wild, we now have two couples in the house woohooing at the same time, but they're not the only ones. Oh no! Oh no. In fact, once uh, our first couple, that being Jonas and Liana, finish up, uh, we actually see that in the backyard, in the hot tub, uh, we have Sunny and Yolanda getting in there and doing a bit of woohoo action in the water. Uh, hopefully they clean up after. We get some chlorine in there or something because it's going to get murky and gross. But they're going at it. And we even see that Vince has a complete nice relaxed view of their woohoo while he's out in the ocean on that piece of pizza. He's just laying out there watching, relaxing, seeing a show. Um, all of these house guests are some exhibitionist. That's for sure. Unfortunately, however, the day is coming to a close, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for the coupling ceremony. Let's go ahead and head on over there, and I'm going to get real virtual, and I'll see you in The Sims. All right, welcome to our third coupling ceremony. Of course, this is my virtual Sims hot dog self. And if you want to download me, this lot, the house, any of my house guests, just go on, head on over to the gallery, and that's going to be Sims hot dogs. Duh. Okay, just look me up and you'll find a bunch of crazy cool stuff. However, we have to get down to business. 
because we have to see if you guys can light up any more lights. You have one permalite constantly lit now, with that being Jay Young and Ariel being confirmed a perfect match. But as of today, we have an uneven number as one of you is missing their perfect pair, as Jake had to leave the game due to him breaking the rules and hitting one of our house guests. So, even though he is gone, we cannot continue if one of you does not have a pair. So let's go ahead and bring out our new house guest. It's another male. Hopefully we don't have another one that's gonna have to be replaced from hitting a girl. We'll have to wait and find out about that. However, this is your new love interest, Pace Haskins. Pace is a music lover. He is active. Unfortunately, he is hot-headed. So, girls, watch out. Uh, however, he's looking for a soulmate. He's not trying to be a serial romantic. He wants to find the one. And, of course, that gives him the alluring trait. So, while Pace sits down, uh, we are going to have the boys decide tonight who they want to have a perfect match with and he will have last pick first pick however is going to go out to bruno so bruno why don't you go ahead and step down here let's look at your relationship statuses and whoever you are closest to is who you are going to pick to be your perfect match all right so if we go ahead and take a look we see that you don't actually have that many love interests in the house you only have one yeah. so that makes your perfect match benson bruno and benson you are our first match of the night why don't you go ahead and take a seat together All right, our next boy to pick is going to be Jonas. Why don't you head on down here and let's look at your relationship statuses. Now, I find Jonas's relationships actually really interesting because he's been picking Felicity. The two of them have been picking each other for the past few matching ceremonies. However, if we actually look at him now, he's not even romantic with her. Instead, he's romantic with both Robbie and Liana, and he's actually closest to Robbie. So, Robbie, why don't you go ahead and join Jonas, and you two are going to be our next couple for the night. Bit of a shocker. And <laughs> I honestly couldn't decide which side of the stage I wanted them to sit on. Um, so you'll see them moving around a bit. But once they take a seat, we're going to have Vince. Why don't you come on down and you're going to be the next guy to pick. All right, so Vince's relationships have changed a bit too. Um, but we see that Alice is still on his list, maybe always will be. However, Felicity has gotten a little bit of a bump ahead of her, so our next couple is going to be Vince and Felicity. Why don't you guys go ahead and take a seat together? Oh, oh, so Loonies, Gels.
All right, our next guy to pick is going to be Sunny. So Sunny, why don't you come on and head down here? And as we all know, you've had a bit of a love triangle between Latoya and Yolanda, but let's go ahead and see who you are closest to. And it looks as though that is going to be Yolanda. So Sunny and Yolanda, you guys are our next perfect match. And Yolanda doesn't seem too happy about it. <laughs> she seems a little sad. But why don't you guys go ahead and take a seat together. Yazub. <laughs> Bimbus. Zupta. Nibahana. Oh, Himsa. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maroba Yellick. Pun. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Chorg. Chippecamoosh. Boo. Grawl. Funiata. John Josabim. Okay. Wixon and Zarspa. Alright, with the only guy remaining being the new guy, Pace, who's picking last, we're going to go ahead and have Latoya step on down, and she's going to pick who she wants to couple up with of the remaining people left. Now, Latoya doesn't have any romantic interest apart from Sunny. However, Sunny didn't pick her. He is now taken by Yolanda. So she's just going to have to go solely on friendships, whoever she's closest to with the girls that are left in the house. So this one is just friendship material. Can't really, not too sure if this one's a perfect match, but who knows? Could be totally wrong. However, our next perfect couple is now Latoya and Alice. So why don't the two of you go ahead and take a seat together and we'll see if you guys are potentially a light that lights up tonight. Who knows? All right, so we're down to our final two couples. Kayla, you're gonna come down and you're gonna be next to pick. Whoever you don't pick is gonna be automatically partnered with Pace. So let's go ahead and look at your relationship statuses. So a little bit like Latoya, you actually have no romantic interest, not even some that are taken. You're not interested in anyone at the moment. However, out of the few people that are left, you are closest to Liana, so Kayla and Liana, you guys are going to be our next couple. And of course, that leaves Rosalie and Pace to be our eighth and final couple. I gotta say, it must not feel very good for Rosalie to be the only one basically not picked and just assigned a new partner. Um, but you never know, it could have been a lucky draw and they're actually a perfect match going forward. Um, we have no idea, as Pace has just now entered the game, who he's going to be more attracted to. but. Who knows, maybe this will set him off in the right direction and the two of them could be a perfect match. But right now as they take a seat, we're going to go ahead and head on into our results to see just how many of you are actually a perfect match. Like always, there are eight lights representing eight perfect matches. You guys will always have one light lit now that you have figured out that Jae Young and Ariel are indeed a perfect match. However. 
there are seven more lights for you to light up. If you guys are able to light up all eight lights, you will win a large sum of money to split between the rest of you. But if you guys are not able to light any lights, that leads to a blackout and you all will lose money. So let's go ahead and see if you guys have any more perfect matches tonight. You guys have one new perfect match sitting among you. However, that is it. The rest of you are not a perfect match. So you guys have only have one additional perfect match sitting amongst you that are not Ariel and Jay Young. And while Jay Young and Ariel head back to their honeymoon suite, and you guys will be reunited with them at the next coupling ceremony, the rest of you need to go back home and figure out who is that perfect match you got right and who isn't. Because we are officially halfway through the series. Can you believe it? We only have six more episodes left, and that means only three more coupling ceremonies left for you guys to figure it out, or else you might be going home empty-handed. All right, what do you guys think of tonight's episode? Who do you think is the perfect match? Who do you think is wrong? What do you think of everything that happened? Are you going to miss Jake? What do you think uh, is going to happen in the next episode? Who do you think should be sent to the truth booth? Let me know all of your comments, all of your questions, all of your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell. That way you're alerted because I'm going to be back on Friday for a brand new episode. And I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>